pigeons come off you because you have chips. <laughs> Yep. And you can't sue them. Do you want to stay in this line? Do you want to move on to something on your list? If you put lines on everything, it's going to be the same as this. Okay. Ah. <laughs> that back, back all the way in the 50s and 60s during the post-war boom, they pretty much created products that were very, very durable. Uh, you could get stockings that could be stretched unbelievably. You could fridges that could last 30 years, TVs that could last 30 years. And so you would never need to buy any more stuff. So the manufacturer companies consciously, not, in, not indirectly, but consciously decided we are going to make our products cheaper so that they break more easily. So it's not it's not like it's not like it's on an on organic process because mass production naturally creates inefficiencies, which mean that the product being created is brittle and less good quality. But this was a conscious conspiracy by manufacturers to make their products worse, so that they would break more often and you would have to buy more. Something to think about, really. Makes sense. But what if you have a warranty? What if you have an extended warranty? What warranty is invalid unless you use the product for its intended purpose? <laughs> There's a funny joke on um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged where Marek, even the evil Marek, has got his Millennium Rod and he's um, it's not working properly, and then he go he calls out the manufacturers and he says, "My Millennium Rod's not working properly." And so he talks to a call center worker about how to fix it, and then he says, "Apparently, it voids the warranty if you use it as a murder weapon." <laughs> It's just like a long line of um, word play things.